Hey everyone, this is Iron Torch 20 and uh, unfortunately I've been having some issues with uh, some various Mega Man games, some technical issues. It's nothing that bad, I mean I'm going to get right back to it as soon as I can, but in the meantime, I'm going to be playing a game that gets a lot of flack, but at the same time does have its redeeming qualities. And in those, and back when the NES was out around this time, you made do with what your parents got you. Or, in my cousin's case, what his parents got him, because this was a game I played a lot at his house, and even though I didn't really get any good at it, I figured it was worth checking out, and that's going to be Mylon's Secret Castle. Made in 1987 by Hudson Soft. This is a game that's actually pretty highly regarded in Japan, but a lot of people, including the AVGN, ripped on this game a lot. So let's go ahead and get this started. And as you can see, you're an elf that uh, jumps and runs and shoots. It is your pretty basic platformer game. And see, the uh, biggest gimmick with this game is that you have to shoot blocks in order to reveal stuff. And, let's see, you are using a bubble. You can also unlock, uh, or you can get certain things Super Mario Brothers style. And we'll go into a bonus stage, and I might as well explain the concept of this game. Uh, pretty much... I guess like these elves, or whatever you want to call them, this race of people that Mylon belongs to, were uh, people that communicated through music and for some reason Mylon couldn't, so he left somewhere to learn how. And uh, by the time he got back, everything got overrun and the uh, queen got captured, so now he's got to go over to this castle and rescue them all. Now then again, this is a NES game from 1987, so let's not think too much about this plot here. But what I'm doing now is just a bonus game to get more money. And you just want to collect the uh, sharps and the notes while avoiding the flats. And you can get money to buy stuff from the shop. The uh, controls work a little differently in this game compared to other games. And the main thing is that Mylon has to get a running start before making a jump. Um, the momentum's a little bit different in this game compared to other games. And also you get to shoot bubbles, which is, always, which is all fun and good. And one of the biggest hang-ups with this game is that it is pretty tough to uh, figure out where you're going and what to do. And this is one thing the uh, AVGN ripped on the most, and you know, at this point he had a few good points about this review. And that was because uh, this wasn't one of those reviews where he actually talked about the game instead of doing a whole bunch of other stuff. But I'm uh, getting off on a tangent. Uh, what I did now was uh, break enough blocks in order to get a key. And you do have to go to a pretty out of the way place to uh, find the door in order to exit the stage. Uh, what that umbrella does is let me shoot multiple bubbles now instead of one. And uh, yeah, pretty much what he ripped on was that this game does cross the line between not telling you anything and a game that is pretty tough to figure out. But once you do figure it out, it's actually a pretty fun game. Um, what I just did was go to the shop and get the medicine. And basically that's when you get smaller when you touch a boxing glove. What kind of sense that makes? Eh, who the hell knows. And uh, let's see, we're going to need saws to access different levels. Crystals are what we're going to get for beating bosses. And I'll explain more when we get to that. But now we get to go to the third door. And... What this is, is that this is another level, and basically this is how you're going to access your levels. And see, right here is just about where everybody gets stuck, because you try and jump over this thing and you can't. So what we got to do is break blocks here. And, um, let's see, the biggest hang-up a lot of people have with this game is, even though it hasn't aged very well, it's just that you constantly have to be shooting at everything in order to find anything. And, um, that's really how this game goes. But there are some redeeming qualities in it, one of them being the music, and, uh... I also find the level design to be pretty creative. So what I gotta do here is push this block. And then get over here. So what that does is uh, I get the spring shoes, and with these spring shoes, I can, uh... Jump, or I can jump higher, like it's a trampoline when you see those uh, springs. 
So, let's see, what I need to do is get up here. And there's me jumping higher. And, uh, that Hudson B, since this is a Hudson South game, the B has to make an appearance. And what that B does is, uh, you get a protective shield with it. Which is all fun and good, because in this game it is pretty easy for, uh, enemies to get stuck on top of you, and when that happens, their health just drains like it's nothing, because you get almost no recovery time between hits. See, I just uncovered another shop, but I'm not gonna get this now. And, uh, you'll see why pretty soon. So, let's see, I just need to break stuff and then get out of here. And in every stage, there is, uh... Or there should be a honeycomb, a Hudson Bee, and then the exit. Let's just get over to the exit. So, yeah, I might have missed something on the first door. I'll just, uh, check and make sure. If I uh, edit this part out, that means there was nothing there. But you'll figure that out. Okay, sorry about that false alarm. Let's see, here I need to go into the window. And here's our first encounter with a boss, and these bosses have the uh, same pattern, they jump and shoot at you. But the uh, trajectory and speed of the shots always vary, so it's pretty easy to get thrown off. And uh, what I'm doing now is just rushing in close and fighting from inside range. And that crystal there, as the uh, hint mentioned earlier, even though Crystal has mysterious powers, is that there's seven of them, and they all do different things. And what that Crystal does is it gives us a chance to continue. And yeah, you have to use- this is one of those games where you have to use a code in order to continue. Kind of like Super Mario Brothers. But I can excuse it for Super Mario Brothers, you know, because it was the first one. Let's see, with this stage, uh, they introduce us to breaking platforms. And it is going to get a little annoying later on, but right now they're uh, pretty easy to handle. I also do like how this game like builds on the challenge. Okay, I want that. Let's yeah, just go ahead and get it. But uh, getting back to the level design, I do like how this game builds on the challenge. The only real issue I have with that is that uh, sometimes you get some really cheaply placed enemies and oftentimes you get into a lot of trouble because of it. Let's see, here's another bonus stage. I'll uh, just edit this out. So either way, uh, getting back to the uh, way this game challenges you, it does like to build on uh, difficulty. Which, as you can see, the castle has four floors, and we are on the second one. And this game builds on difficulties by introducing you to different enemies, different situations, and different scenarios. And... Let's see, the enemies that like to shoot at you are the ones that cause the most trouble. But the good news is these early stages are pretty short. Let's see, I think the exit's over here. But I need to get the key that's all the way on the right. Okay, I don't need to be dealing with you. And see, what I'm doing here is just uh, waiting for the platforms to fall. Although I do like that this game gives you extra bubbles to work with. That's always a good thing. Let's see, where are you, you stupid thing? Yeah, see, this is a problem with some cheaply placed enemies in narrow spaces. I mean, these guys by themselves really aren't that tough to deal with, it's just that, you know, they can be a pain when you gotta deal with all this other stuff at once. And I get to shoot you. Let's see, I'm pretty sure there's a shop here, but I actually want to get the key first. And the reason for that is because if you uh, use the exit door, the uh, key doesn't reappear, so you have to reactivate it. And I missed out on a B. But then again, that doesn't really matter once you already have a shield. See, I want to get back down here because there is health. And see, I think it's right over here. Yep. And yeah, this is one game that is very hard to figure it out, and it does cross the line between being a little bit cryptic. But once you do figure out, as I've said before, it is pretty fun. So let's see, what I want to do now is I gotta get back there, or get back over to the left, and then get to that shop. I'll uh, just see you when I'm there. Okay, now that we're here, see here you can get the lantern for cheaper. But I'm actually going to go ahead and not get this because, uh, you don't really need it outside of that first room in the well. But when you know where everything is, you, uh, 
can just go ahead and do whatever you want with it. And that's really the only place where you do need the uh, lantern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack, and unfortunately I do have to jump up these springs a lot, so I'll just uh, see you at the exit. Alright, so now that we're here, uh, let's see what I need to do, since I came out from here, I need to go over to the right. And this is another pretty short level, and uh, here they introduce you to uh, see the uh, moving gaps in the floor. And see, I actually wanted to go up first, but this will have to do. And see, what I'm doing now is just blasting away at Hudson. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of plugs to Hudson. Slow down. Okay, that made it a little bit better. Yeah, the uh, enemies are constantly spawning here, so you do have to stay on your toes, especially these ones I'd like to fly into you. Let's just, yeah, deal with you. And see, the good news about this uh, game is that, oh, by the way, that's where we need to go to exit. But the good news is the game does give you plenty of opportunity to defend yourself and uh, plenty of opportunity to get stronger as the game goes. Even though you do start off a little weak and uh, that is something that does present problems on certain places. Let's just get you out of here. And I want this. And more health is always a good thing. So, let's see, I think I need to go to the left now. I almost end up getting myself in trouble there. And that's, I think I wanna... Yeah, I probably wanna get this, don't I? So what happens when there are a ton of enemies on the screen? Let's see, is there anything in here? Nope. And yeah, unfortunately, since there are a lot of moving enemies and a lot of fast enemies, you're gonna get slowed down from time to time. But then again, that might be my computer. I can't even tell anymore. But here, I gotta make a big jump. Let's see, uh... Can I get something here? Yep, I can get free money here. So, free money is always a good thing. So, let's see, I think I need to break more blocks and get the key now. Now, damn, lost my shield. Um, let's see, so now I need to go down and... Let's see, just get some more stuff. Yep, there it was. Now, the uh, key can either show up to the left or to the right. And, uh, now I guess it's the right this time. Let's see, there is also a shop I need to go to. So, I need to shrink. So, let's just go ahead and take care of that. Now, this fireproof vest is very critical towards the uh, next level. And the reason for that is... There is going to be a big room full of fire, and that thing will just end your life if you try and go through there without the fire vest. So, let's go ahead and get that. And see, I just want to get to the exit here. So with that, I am going to go ahead and call the video, so join me next time as we explore the well and finish the rest of Floor 2. I will see you then.